everybody. Right to the back of the boat. To the back, okay. Double up. Get in there, Tina. Get on that one. Keep coming, buddy. Keep coming. We got him. Oh, beautiful. We, go. <laughs> we need him out of the net for the next one. He's got him. Oh, you missed him. Get him, yeah. buddy. Yeah, he's living up on the net. Oh, yeah. That's big. <laughs> Holes in the box. Morning, folks. Today on Midwest Outdoors, we are at the Port of Sheboygan fishing with Dumper Dan again here. Dan, you said the fishing was on, huh? Right, exactly. That's why I gave you a call, Greg. It's been a hot bite here in May out of the Port of Sheboygan going into early June, and we're catching limits of coho right now with some kings and rainbows mixed in. So it's interesting setup here. We're fishing deep and we're fishing up on top too. This one's on a board here. We just saw a fish roll and Right after that, one of the boards went. You can see these alewives. That's got something to do with this May bite, doesn't it, Dan? Huh? Absolutely, Greg. There's a lot of bait fish here uh, at all different sizes, too. We have like two to three inch alewife shad, and then we have like the four to five inch, a little bigger, larger bait fish. So a couple different classes here of bait fish, and uh, that's what these cohos are feeding on. I mean, it's just a feeding frenzy. That one is uh, gonna be good on the grill, oh, yeah. huh? Good little griller. Throw them right in the cooler. This is kind of a migration, too. Don't the fish come uh, come north? These do. That's a good question, Greg. Uh, actually, the cohos do migrate, and we're kind of watching them uh, migrate from uh, south to north because I talked to a lot of different captains in different ports, and they got them on the south end of the lake in April, and then we catch them here in May and June. Oh, so. board out there, too. Double header. Double up. Yep. Oh, he's gone oh. already. Oh, oh he's, he's on, on there. there. He's, he's on there. Tripping. I got to be careful here. They get, they're full of energy, and they can yep. run into other lines or under the boat, so don't back up anymore. Stay right there. Stay right there. Actually, face the fish. There you go. Bring him up, 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 up. We got him. We got him. So a lot of people, uh, you know, when they come out, definitely like to take these fish home. Dan, what's the limits then? Uh, limits are five each, Greg. So five per person per day. And if you come out for more than a day, if you go up two to three days, like in our two to three day packages, you can take home two limits. So ten each. Keep cranking, Greg. Oh, we got him. There he is. <clears throat> hey, we're going 100% today, Dan. Oh, you should yeah. have said that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so how old is that fish then? That's probably, I would call it a two-year-old. Oh, you know. they grow fast. That's yeah. all those alewives are right. high oil base. Yeah, they're kind of like kings. They're an eating machine. I mean, yep. they just keep eating bait nonstop, but they don't get as big as a king salmon. But yep. I'll tell you what, though, Greg, that is the tenderloin of Lake Michigan Ooh, fish yeah. right there in yep. the coho salmon. It is bright red meat and delicious to eat. I tell you what, yeah, the whole experience out here, Dan, is just wonderful. I mean, fishing, beautiful day, great boat setup. That lodging you got back on shore is just awesome. Absolutely. We got the riverfront condos. We just built them two years ago, and we have condos next door to us as well that you stayed in yep. last night. So we put together the package for the customers. Uh, well, a couple so days close. fishing, a couple so, night lodging. So close to the boats. Yeah. Get up in the morning, walk 50 yep. yards, and you're there. Right, and at night you can uh, sit on our riverfront deck and fry out on our big stainless steel gas grill. You can fry your own fish. You can fry brats, hamburgers, steaks, ribs, chicken, whatever you want, and hang out in a great atmosphere right along the Sheboygan Riverfront. <laughs> oh, he's gonna pass us, Tina. Keep cranking, keep cranking. No, I missed the Oh my God, oh, boy. <laughs> Holy cow. Good job. The fire drill continues. You got it. Back to that double I yeah. thought. Yeah. Told you about Craig. Oh, this is one of the crazy days. We've had fish on more than we haven't had fish on today. I, mean, right, exactly. I don't think we've been out here an hour. Another in one the in box. the mail. You got it. Middle one. There is we that go. The king? Oh yeah. Now these fish, they fight you hard. They pull like crazy. This action is uh, awesome. The lake's really in good shape. You said the DNR numbers are uh, really good, huh? Absolutely, Greg. Uh, actually, this year alone, just on the Wisconsin side, they planted just over 1.2 million trout and salmon combined. That's just the state of Wisconsin. That doesn't cover the other three states. Also, uh, natural reproductions at just under 70%, that 69.3% natural reproduction. Oh, yeah. so, well, and they track that stuff really good. They actually track right. how many fish you guys catch, too, don't yeah, they? Absolutely. We got a hand in monthly reports of what we catch, how many clients we have out, and how many hours, how many lines we run, how many hours we fish. So they keep track of all them numbers and well, you uh, stock the lake be accordingly. Wisconsin's number one producer, too, don't you? You got it. We run the most trips on Lake Michigan and, uh, yeah, have a good time doing it. Just bring your rod tip up, buddy. Rod tip up, and we got him. Up, up, up. Nice king salmon. There we go. There we Beauty. go. 
Nice king. Beautiful. Oh, 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 oh. There you go, Tina. Go, 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 go. Oh, it's, oh, it's going. Here's the double. Double, oh, Dan, you're on, you're on, you're on, you're on. Do go, go, go. All right, there you go, Dolph. I'm not going to lose him. Yeah. <laughs> well, Greg, we just spotted that king salmon. And yep. Two minutes later, we pop a double. Double, of yeah. Coho's, I Gotta do believe. Got to be the fourth double of the day. Here he comes, buddy. Alex has him. We're going to do Number two, one. two for one. Scoop him up, Alex. <laughs> All right. <laughs> that is the kind of crazy action you get here at Dumper Dance. You I got tell it. you what, that is the fourth double of the day. You want to have some fun. You want to catch some fish. You want to get yourself out here to Dumper Dance out here at Port of Sheboygan. All you got to do is look them up on the website, dumperdan.com. We've had a great time. You come on out here and enjoy it too. For Tina Repke, Dan Welch, Captain George, and Alex, the first mate, had a great day. More Midwest Outdoors coming right up.